So it's looking pretty dark for Destiny, fellas. We're in a dark day right now. So by now, I'm pretty sure everybody is, um, where the fuck am I going? Where am I going? Everybody's heard about the recent Bungie layoff. I'm um, not really a news channel. That's why I don't, I don't drop breaking news and stuff like that. I usually just wait for stuff to die, uh, develop. I would like you to shut that up. What's this? Trash material, my man. Why don't you do me a favor? Give me one of these. Go play some Onslaught. So good. We could chat. We got to chat. All right. We got to talk. I don't really know what to say, honestly. I feel it, it sucks. You know what I mean? All right. Let me just come at it from a very selfish, personal point of view quick, because this is the only thing that I got on top of my head right now. As a content creator, somebody who relies on this game and new stuff for this game to come out, obviously, it's it's making me think a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, The, the future isn't really like certain. There isn't any anything really to look forward to. For example, like when Lightfall came out and everybody saw it as like a flop or something. I enjoy Lightfall, you know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't exceptional, but it wasn't bad either, you know what I'm saying? But we had Final Shape to look forward to. When Final Shape came out, obviously it was a banger, you know what I'm saying? It's a banger, we hit that, dog, that was like a peak of destiny that we have never ever seen. And then now, I gotta sock these victims. Now it seems like we're, we're back in the, the end times of destiny again, like Curse of Osiris type stuff. We're looking at the numbers drop so fast a lot of people not playing this game anymore um, there's not much retention here and from a content creator's point of view once again that's just not good for viewership you feel what i'm saying so that all that being said me personally out of the way uh, i'm just gonna be trying to play a little bit of different games you saw that last upload you're gonna be seeing my face on different games basically uh, i'm still gonna be playing destiny same amount of uploads though but anyway what are we looking forward to in destiny we're looking forward to now something called content packs i'm pretty sure these things were coming out every six months that they're that's what they're telling us now i'm gonna be honest bro i'm not really expecting anything set in stone right now because all of this just came out these people just got laid off um that shit sucks so bad dude i can't even imagine like and apparently the thing about this is like the what is his name pete parsons apparently he has like a vintage car collection right now i'm not a type of person gonna tell you hey man this is how you should spend your money um this is your hard-earned cash you should spend your money on this you should give it to other people i'm not saying none of that shit. i don't give a damn what you do with your money but what i'm saying is these optics are not good apparently two days before he laid um a few of these people off he actually gave them a tour of his vintage car collection so apparently he has a shit ton of vintage cars i, I don't know why this is such big news i frankly don't give a damn but it is bad optics people do care about optics in this world it shouldn't matter but it it really does <laughs> i'm sucking. i'm Crocodile in these victims right now. I got I got a new exotic class item too. I'm gonna keep playing this game. I love Destiny. I've been playing this game for um what is it a decade now? Maybe over a decade. I can't remember, bro. I, I love this game. It's gonna take a lot more than some layoffs for me to stop playing this game. It's that's just how it is. To be honest though, from a humanity standpoint, those people losing their jobs is tragic. Thankfully, they have skills that they've I'm sure they've learned while working at Bungie and stuff like that that can help them in the future. You know what I mean? They're not completely screwed out of everything it's just hard dude like i'm sure there's things behind the scenes that we don't even know um happen oh my gosh many a combatants these content packs uh gonna be frank i don't know what the oh i gotta shoot my gun i have Falcons on let me uh bust that album real quick i don't know what the hell that means bro what are content packs what are content packs that's me too sucker boom bap i don't care what anybody says they need to do some something with onslaught this needs to be alive i love the horde mode the horde mode's amazing i'll tell you what moth yards isn't though this shit is butt meat look at this nonsense this guy's doing about 14 somersaults in front of me he needs to be in the olympic come here uh, punch meat backs punch eyeball socket testicles i i don't know what that these content packs like what does that even mean like are we gonna get a whole bunch of random sh dropped at once like what what, what what are you what are you selling me here sir tony what are you selling me i don't know how do y'all feel about the state of destiny right now i don't think it's dying but it's just not in a good it's like it's it's going out every other night getting absolutely hammered at the bar <laughs> there are a few projects in the works that they had apparently uh one being project payback and people were saying that this was destiny 3 hey man i'm not in the know like that i'm gonna be honest with you like i'm not gonna stay here and tell you oh well no actually if they're trying to work and all that stuff like that but like I, I think a lot of these youtubers like don't know shit and the only way they do know stuff is by like one or two people actually being in the know and then them getting the information third hand you know what i'm saying so like i just say let's just see how it plays out 
man just keep playing other games find some new games to play you know what i mean i was playing half sword the other day absolutely idiotic hilarious fun game probably gonna play some elden ring all that we just wiped the floor with these things it just sucks like man from the way i'm seeing it it just seems like a lot of um money problems once again ruining creativity bro it's a part of life that we live or in the world we live honestly we got demolitioners raising i'm gonna be honest it's not looking too good for us fellas we're gonna engage in this silence and squall combat slash this guy he doesn't know that another one spawns in on the adu but we're gonna go prismatic real quick we're getting shout casty up in here he's gonna hit me with that i'm going across the continent going back at it just like a crack addict there's certain things you just should not see in broad daylight we're gonna keep going here hit him with the sword get very very racially charged here we're gonna pick up this adu battery and uh throw it at the hostile enemy spider this is too easy more combat is required son hello good night imagine getting punched like that in real life i think i'd want to submit blasphemers getting shot from the backside. but i don't know guys i just wanted to see your opinion on this to be honest like um what do you think you think destiny's dead i don't i frankly don't think destiny's dead it's just gonna maintain like the consistent player base there's always been a consistent player base on this game bide your time that's what i do that's what the bicep says everything will be all right destiny 2 goes into pooper it's fun while it lasted bro because it damn sure was and i'm gonna be pissed because i put a lot of in my, i put mad money in this game bro i'm not joking dude all right and i'll be mad as of now we're good so play the damn game and enjoy it because it could be gone tomorrow and you would not know the you'd be none the wiser of why the hell that's happening to you but anyway peace and love fellas we out peace <laughs>